play that song again I'm going to play up above my head again and I would like you to listen to it so we'll do a little, little bit of ear training and I'd like you to tell me what is different about it I'm just going to play the last bit okay okay so are you ready to listen yep okay up above my head there's music in the air Which chord do you think sounded different? It was like the like the end. The end one. It's like you Could go up above been... my head and then it would be like Yeah. Then you, then you do it again and it will be the end of that. This one. Could it listen? Was it Can you identify that chord? By yeah. its sound? Or if you look? What's that? The C seven? C seven! All right, so today we are um, learning all about dominant seven chords, okay? So mm -hmm. we're going to be listening out for the difference between a C major today, we're in the key of F, uh, a mm -hmm. C major and a C7. The C7 sounds nicer, nicer I think. Yeah, do you think? Yeah. Well, you don't have to decide yet, okay? So we're gonna, but we're gonna. Does it sound? Do you think it sounds uh, just sweet or spicy? Spicy. Spicy. Today we're going to be injecting a little bit of spice into our chords. A little bit of flavour. Little bit of flavour, a bit of extra flavour. That's right. Okay. A sprinkling of dominant seven. Okay. Yeah. So dominant seven in the key of F, we've got our tonic. It's like the, that's like the main part of the song. No, the, no, the tonic is the uh, the first chord. The first chord. Yeah, which is F in the key of F, and then the fifth is the dominant, yeah. and the relationship that happens all the time. Well, quite often the relationship between the tonic and the dominant is what we hear very very clearly in a song, but today we're looking at dominant sevens. So do you think that sounds a bit sweet or spicy? Spicy. It's a bit spicier, yeah, so we're going to inject a bit of spice into our repertoire today. Flavour. Bit of flavour. And this one, a C major? It's more... Like, sweet. Sweet. Well, I'm glad you said sweet and savoury, or sweet and um, spicy, because it just so happens... Just put your ukulele down for a second. Just so happens, I've got something very sweet. It's good that I said it was um, spicy. That was spicy, not sour. Uh, it's a good job, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't know. I don't like sour music. Only spicy music. Right. So what's this? Mm, jam. Jam in jam. Sweet. Jam is sweet. All right. And what's this? Um, spicy. It, spicy sauce. Spicy okay. Spicy sauce. Ch chili sauce. Okay. I want you to listen. Okay, a bit of ear training for you. Okay, listen to how the chords resolve. Okay, and I want you to sweet. hold up the sweet for when you can hear a sweet resolution and spicy when it's a bit spicier. Okay, so this is ear training for you. Listen yeah. closely. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You don't have to decide yet. Happy birthday, dear Winnie. Happy birthday to you. To you. To you. Well, they both finish each other off. They're both. They're both uh, because of that um, tonic's um, dominant relationship between the chords. Let's have, let's put this under the microscope a little bit more. Okay. 
So you, you, you heard the difference between the two chords. You know that one is uh, C major and one is C7, okay? Now what I want you to do is I would like you to play a C for me, please. Okay, now play it very slowly from the fourth string, the G down to the C. sounds a little bit different because you've got a low or you've got a high G and I've got a low G okay now I'd like you to tell me please the names of the notes that you're playing when you play them so going from top to bottom well, the rhyme is good cutting up so G C E but that would be an A brace like what did you do? C? C, C, that's right. Yeah, okay. So so how many notes do you think that is? Well, good. And then that's a C. And that's a C. So it's like four, but it's like two C, so three. Three notes mm -hmm. on a four string instrument. Okay, now that's called a triad. Okay? Triad. Yeah, so three notes in a chord, that's a triad. Mm -hmm. What I want you to note here though, if you are playing a C7, a little bit different, a little bit spicy, can you tell me um, what the notes are if you are playing a C7? Can you put a C7 on for me, please? It's okay. going to be good. So G. B flat. Okay, right. B flat. Now what? How many notes is that? Four. Four different notes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's that called? Do you know? Quadrat? A quadra a, a quadrat. A quadrat. <laughs> no. Yeah, that is, if it's called a triad, it should be called a well, it's like, well, yeah, but another word for four is tetra. It's called a tetrachord. Okay, so we've got a triad and a tetrachord with that B flat in it. Okay, so it's all the notes of a C plus that B flat. Now, it's called a dominant seven or a C seven. Count with me from... Well, if you've got a C, C chord, okay, the root of the chord is C. Yeah. Count with me, including C. Let's count until we get to uh, B flat and see how many, how many notes that is, okay? You ready? So C, D, E, F, G, E, B. B. B flat, B flat, that's right. Okay, so B flat, so how many was that? Seven. Seven. So, mm -hmm. C7, so that B flat, okay, it's like seven. is the seventh note starting from the root. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, okay, which is a, um, yeah, which makes a seventh. Okay, cool. So what I think we'll do now is we'll play a little bit, let's play a little bit of an echo mm -hmm. strum, okay? And I want you to either make I'm gonna play something and then you're gonna play something. And then we're gonna we're gonna to toggle between our, our either our C7 and F. Sorry, C7 and F or our C and F. Okay, so you're gonna I'll I play, you play, okay? You ready? So listen. Get ready to play this one back, okay? Okay, listen to me. Your turn. I know you need to resolve back to the F. Oh, right. Try again. So. Now, what's that? Sounded that? nice. Sounded nice. It yeah. did sound nice, but was it spicy? Yeah. It was quite spicy, not sweet. Okay. All right, now try, try this one. Okay. Uh, play this one back.
to. Start yeah, starting on, on the C, yeah. And how did that feel? Um, that felt nice, but I, I like, I just personally refer to the other one. Okay, so music is a lot about how we feel, isn't it? And how a song makes us feel, what emotion that evokes in us. And yeah. um, I think that um, that additional note just creates that bit of a yearning. So depending on depending on the song lyrics, the type of song you're listening to, uh, that dominant seventh may or may not sound sound right. Sometimes it may, sometimes it might not. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to play um, the Gypsy Rover, which we did like in the last lesson. Okay. But this I'm going to toggle between. I'm going to play you. Um, I'm going to play it one way. I'm going to play it with. Um, I'm going to play the sweeter version, which would have this C in it. And then let's listen to it with the C7. The spicy. Mm -hmm. And see if you can see how it makes you feel. Is the, is it, are the chords being pulled towards each other to resolve? Okay. I'm just going to play it a little bit of the first bit. He whistled and he sang till the green woods rang And he won the heart of a lady What do you think? Uh, yeah, that was nice Nice? Yeah Okay, nice, Let's. I'll try it with the, uh, with the C7, okay? Uh -huh. Ready? He whistled and he sang till the green woods rang, and he won the heart of a lady. Which do you like? The second one. You prefer the second one? Yeah. Was it just was it the way I played the ending or? Um, I just like I think it's like um nicer with just a bit of flavor. With a bit of flavor. Just more, yeah. A bit of flavor. Well, that was the, which is more, but which is more flavorsome, mm -hmm. sweet, <laughs> sweet, or spicy? Spicy, I think. Well, the last one I played, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. You like spicier? I guess it depends on the song. Maybe. And to your taste. And to your taste. And it could be the, the part of the song that you're playing. Go. Okay, come on. So uh, let's, are we going to go spicy? We're going to go sweet. Um, I just want to try sweet even though it's not my Okay, all right. So we start on the, the tonic, which is the one. And the dominant is the five, okay? Okay, one, two, three. He whistled and he sang till the green woods rang and he won the heart of a lady. That's the B flat. Okay. Um, great. Awesome. Sometimes you can go and change that um, dominant um, fifth to, uh, to a dominant seven chord. But depending on the song and the key, you can't always go the other way. So if you've got a C7 in a song, it, it might not always be able to go back to a C. No. Interesting. Okay, and we'll go. We'll next time. We'll go 